In this video, we're going to derive a general expression for the posterior density in n-object tracking. In single-object tracking, we saw that the general posterior is a mixture density, where each mixture component corresponds to a sequence of data associations from time 1 to time k, then we have a weight for that sequence of data associations and a posterior density given the sequence of data associations. And remember that the weights are the probabilities of the sequences of data associations. In object tracking, we have a general posterior of the same type of format, a mixture density with different data association sequences where we have a weight for each association sequence and a posterior density conditioned on that association sequence. And again, the weights are the probabilities of the data association sequences. Let's start by considering the posterior when we have a prior that is a mixture. We then get a mixture posterior where we will see soon that we have a mixture component for each combination of prior hypothesis H and data association theta. If we input the expressions for the measurement and the prior, then we get a double sum over the prior hypothesis H and the data association theta. We have the weight of the prior hypothesis, the joint likelihood for the measurements and the data association, and the prior conditioned on the hypothesis H. And using normalization, we can write this as an unnormalized mixture density. Each mixture component is conditioned on a prior hypothesis H and a data association theta. So if we have a mixture prior, then we get a mixture posterior. And we normalize this by dividing the unnormalized weights by the sum of weights. This gives us a normalized mixture posterior where each mixture component is conditioned on a prior hypothesis and a data association. And the mixture weight is the probability of the combination of this prior hypothesis and the data association. Typically in n-object tracking, the prior hypotheses correspond to data associations. So it can be shown then that the n-object posterior density at time step k is proportional to a sum over data association sequences from time 1 to time k, where each mixture component is conditioned on this data association sequence. The unnormalized weight of a sequence of data associations is given by the product of the unnormalized weights for each association, each object, and each time step. And conditioned on each data association sequence, the posterior n-object density is an independent density where for each object we have the posterior conditioned on the data association for that particular object. As we have already seen several times, the posterior weights can be normalized by dividing by the sum of weights. And this gives us the general expression for the posterior density. We have a sum over the different data associations at all time steps. The probability of the data association and then the posterior conditioned on the data association and the measurements. And due to the rapidly increasing number of mixture components because of the data association, the exact posterior is intractable and approximations are therefore necessary. And different tracking algorithms correspond to different approximations of this posterior density.